Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Philippians chapter 4 and verse 9. Four words that I ask you to underline. Learn, received, heard, and seen in me. So we have already looked at the first three words. And today we want to look at the fourth word, seen. <clears throat> seen. Paul is saying that which you have seen fleshed out in my life. That is what you also should be doing. So there are different ways that we can learn. And uh, one of the ways we learn is, of course, through teachers teaching us. It's classroom learning. And uh, we all need it. But also, another effective way of learning is by observation. Observation. And we all need to be keen observers of the men and women of God who are <clears throat> teaching the word. And uh, we need to look at their life. And we need to be able to emulate everything that is positive that we see in their life. So this uh, brings a challenge to you and to me too. We are watched. 24 hours of the day we are watched. When you go to your place of work, when you go to school, in your neighborhood, when you go for functions with your friends and relatives, you are watched. And why are you watched? Because you profess that you are a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so people are going to watch you and me with hawk eyes. And uh, they come to a conclusion, uh, both about us and about our God, simply by observation. So remember, we need to maintain a good testimony wherever we go, because people are watching us. But we are also called to learn by observing the saints who are seeking to lead us deeper into God. Beyond the classroom teaching is uh, the real life situations where the teachers find themselves in. Hot pressure situations. How does this teacher respond? Does he respond with grace? and gentleness? Or is there yelling and shouting taking place? And, uh, and we observe, and we are able to say, certainly the spirit of Christ is controlling this person's life. Look at how he responded in that uh, hot pressure situation. And also the relationship of this teacher to his wife and children. How does he uh, relate to them? Uh, is he gentle? And is he loving? Is he caring? Is he respectful? And we watch all that. And then we say, yes, this is an example worth emulating. So Paul had the boldness to say, that which you have seen in me, Philippian church. You observe me at close quarters and over, over and above all the teaching I gave you. You saw me in difficult situations and uh, now you put into practice what you saw in me. So again, may God give all of us the grace to be good observers, but also to make sure that we ourselves are seeking to emulate Christ because people are observing us and they are coming to their conclusions. God give us grace to so live. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, 
Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.